Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another uh, complex number lesson. Uh, last lesson I taught you guys how to go from standard form into polar form. And today we're going to show you how to go backwards from polar form into standard form. So I'm just going to show you everything from the beginning again just so that you get a bit of revision and you're not confused. So when we talk about standard form, we mean we express a complex number in terms of its real part, let's say 4, and its imaginary part, let's say 2. Um, actually, let's go negative this time, minus 2i. Okay, 4 minus 2i. And if I want to express it in polar form, what I need to do is firstly I need to find its modulus. Um, so what I do is I um, find the square root of 4 squared plus negative 2 squared so it's the square root of 16 plus 4 which is the square root of 20 and if you know your thirds you can simplify this into square root of 4 times the square root of 5 which is 2 square root of 5 okay the next thing I need to find is um, the uh, theta so theta is equal to inverse tan opposite over adjacent so actually let's just draw it out so if I have the argon diagram and we have the real part on the x and the imaginary part on the y-axis so we have four units to the right on the real part and two units down for the imaginary part this number here is Z and we're looking for this angle here that the line makes with the horizontal so theta is equal to inverse tan bracket opposite which is 2 over adjacent which is 4 so that's opposite that's adjacent so it's 2 over 4 and if you put that in your calculator so you go clear it then you go shift 10 bracket 2 over 4 finish the bracket and you get 26.57 degrees now the argument of Z refers to the rotation from zero degrees to where Z is okay and because usually we're going anti-clockwise is positive so we go 0 90 180 and so on but because we're going um, clockwise we will actually be going in the negative direction so it's negative 90 instead of positive 270 which is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction instead of positive 270 we're going in the clockwise direction which is negative so this way it's positive but because we're going this way it's minus the angle so it's the argument of Z is the rotation from the positive x-axis so it's negative 26.57 degrees okay so to express this complex number from standard form which is Z equals 4 minus 2y in polar form the answer is just Z equals the um, modulus of Z so that's 2 square root of 5 and then we write CIS and then we write um, the argument which is 
negative 26.57 degrees. So now that we understand how to go from um, standard form to polar form, let's learn how to go backwards. So let's write out the polar form. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste this down below so we can oops and if we remember from last lesson the formula that we learned was that if z equals um what was it r cis theta what it really means is z equals r uh, cos theta plus r sine theta times i. Okay, so we just have to re uh, use that formula and apply it in this case. So z simply equals 2 square root of 5 which is r this part here is r um, and then cosine this part here is theta so cosine negative 26.57 degrees plus I'm gonna run out of room but anyway 2 square root of 5 sine negative 26.57 degrees I okay and I'm just going to type all that into the calculator so let's type this part in first we got 2 times square root of 5 times cos bracket negative 26.57 so I'm gonna make this calculator a bit smaller so we can sort of type it in at the same time as seeing what we need to type in so I'm typing in 2 times square root of 5 uh, times cos bracket uh, negative 26.57 make sure your calculator says degrees and then if we press equals we got 3.9998 and if we round it to 2dp like we have been it's just 4 again plus and then let's type all this stuff in here so I have um, 2 times square root of 5 2 times square root of 5 uh, times sine bracket negative 26.57 finish the bracket press equals and you got negative 2 4 plus negative 2 and we have the I here of course okay so therefore that is the answer you've just learned how to go from polar form back into standard form okay thanks for watching guys see you next time